This week's fragrance of the week is from Bois 1920. I've heard people say Bois 1920. I'm not sure what exactly the correct pronunciation is, but I'm going to go with Bois. Um, so Bois 1920, Relativamente Rosso. I am sorry for my pronunciation. I'm trying. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It is what you imagine a true oriental, spicy, rose, amber, woody, Middle Eastern rose base scent to be. And it's not for the faint of heart. It means business. To me, I smell right off the bat a ton of rose, even in the dry down, but there's a lot of woodiness. There is a sandalwood muskiness to it where it is a little powdery. And you know, weirdly, I have this pickup of when you're burning incense, not the actual incense stick, but if you like lean over the stick and you smell the incense with the smoke rising, that's what this has a note of. And I don't think incense is listed as a note, but to me, that's what comes across. And there's a lot of sweetness to it, actually. There is like a spicy, ambery sweetness to it, but there's also a sugary sweetness that kind of cuts right through. It's very easy to overspray with this because one spray is pretty potent and will last the entire day, especially if it's on clothes. Like that scent is not coming off until you wash that item of clothing. There's also an herbiness to this fragrance where I think maybe it's like patchouli that it's coming from. Balsamic, it's sweet, it's syrupy, like it's thick. If this scent was a person, okay, bear with me because I feel like it makes sense. She is not a young girl. She is old enough and has lived enough life experiences and is self-assured and knows exactly who she is because of the life she's lived and the experience she's had. She takes no nonsense from anyone. She thinks things through and makes really level-headed decisions. And she probably doesn't lose her cool very often either. Like her anger is probably just like quiet, white hot anger. Like she's not erratic, like, and she's always well dressed. It sounds crazy. And I feel like it's gonna throw a lot of people off that I just described it like that because not everyone is like that. I mean, I wear it, I love it. I am not a lot of those things, but I love the way this smells. However, this is not a fragrance I would suggest blind buying unless you know that the description I gave is right up your alley. Otherwise, I would get a sample of it. I would smell it if you have access to it in a store nearby you. I don't know that it's incredibly unique. I feel like there's a whole grouping of fragrances that do smell kind of similar right off the top of my head for some reason every time I wear this I always think of Roberto Cavalli's um, Golden Amber and even though it doesn't have all the notes that this does I feel like what makes this stand out is that musky sweetness and to me it, it really comes off as like smokiness and I feel like this is a fragrance that like you can wear at any age but you'll never outgrow it. Like this will never be too young smelling or this will never remind you of like your high school days. It's that kind of a fragrance. It's like a forever fragrance. So that's it for this week's fragrance. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below for me and let me know what you've been wearing this week because I would love to add more names to my never ending fragrance wish list. But until my next video, thank you guys as always so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.